critical mistake was made by scientists when it was assumed that the magnetic fields emanating from matter such as atoms was due to a simple bar-shaped magnetic field within the atom. This assumption led to many ill-formed ideas as to the true forces at work from the subatomic level to the galactic level. Correct this one basic misunderstanding and then many difficult problems in science become very clear and easy to understand. Here we see iron filings revealing the magnetic field lines around a bar magnet. Now we see a compass being used to reveal the magnetic field around the bowl shaped emitter set. Notice that the field emitted from both the bowls and the bar magnet are the same. No wonder mankind was unaware of these bowl shaped magnetic fields. They were hiding right in front of us the whole time. In this image, the magnetic field lines around the typical structure of an atom, a star, or even a galaxy, are shown in magenta. But we need to remember that even though the magnetic field lines measured around matter are of this shape, it is not due to a bar-shaped magnet along the axis of the matter being measured. There are in reality dual bowl-shaped magnetic fields around the nucleus that cause this measured shape of magnetic field lines. These emitters all have the same basic properties, but they do vary in size, geometry, and magnetic field strength. Notice how these ordinary non-magnetized steel balls are held in place at the center or nucleus of these field emitters. We also saw that these steel balls repelled each other because of the magnetic field that was induced into each of them in the nucleus. Now let's take a look at how these non-magnetized steel balls form orbital patterns around these bowl-shaped magnetic field emitters. Again, notice how even in the orbital area, these magnetic fields cause the steel balls to be packed tightly together and yet at the same time they repel each other. 